Let's have a brief talk about this place they call Negro Land. God knows of no region in the promised land called Negro Land. The Arabs and Europeans tended to rename places and people to conceal their identity and to hide the fact that they were living on stolen land. It was the Arabs who called the land Bilad as Sudan, land of the blacks, even though they knew they were the sons of Jacob. Historically, the term Negro, literally meaning black, was used by the Spanish and Portuguese to describe persons of black African heritage. The children of Jacob in the U.S. especially should shun the word Negro because it is a tool designed to conceal truth. 90% of the people they call Negro in the U.S. are Hebrews, and the Arabs and Europeans know only too well that the real name of Negro land is Yahudi. Furthermore, they have sought to mislead us in their Bible dictionaries saying that Ham is the progenitor of the dark races. By dark races, they mean brown people like the fake versions of Nefertiti or Tutankhamun. These texts fooled many Hebrews into thinking that these Bible dictionaries were admitting that the Ethiopians, Egyptians, Canaanites, and Libyans were black, but they were not. Suddenly Ham, who according to the Talmud, was cursed by God with black skin, has suddenly become brown to justify brown ownership of North Africa. They think we are like children, but we know things that they could not tell us. Jacob knows the location of God's house, and judgment begins at the house of God. The Most High describes the nations that surround his house as his evil neighbors, and this is what he says, against all my evil neighbors who touch the inheritance which I have given to my people Israel to inherit. Behold, I will pluck you out of their land and pluck out the house of Judah from among you. Now because they named Yahudi Negro Land, let us take our revenge by revealing the names of the Hebrews the Portuguese kidnapped from Africa. So you can see they were a people called by his name.